Now who's with me? The time for waiting is done. Man, uh, he's met and he's defeated every obstacle, every enemy but one. He just can't win against himself. I think the lesson of Midnight in Paris is that um, <laughs> there are aspects of the past that we, you know, think that we want to go and live through, but you actually <laughs> go back and you realize every, every time and place is, you know, has its good and its bad. And um, so there are things about today that you think, oh man, it's just awful. Like, wish we could live in the good old days, but I also appreciate, you know, modern medicine and... The Victorian era seems... There's a romantic era, uh, romantic kind of uh, presence about it, but I also feel like there's... We have it so easy now <laughs> that, uh, in theory, it seems great, but I feel like, you know, I'm pretty, pretty happy with the present. There are things about uh, America in the 50s that seem great, and then there's other things, you know, about... that it just, you know... Terrible, awful, like, ew. And I witnessed up close the price of real change. It's not about you and me. It's about Lisa's kid and what kind of world he's going to grow up in.